craftsmen pass on stories of a people and a nation, as well as their craftsmanship. Not every craftsman is busy welcoming and sending off guests. Li Xiangrong's family is as peaceful as usual at this time of year. His son is working elsewhere and doesn't have time to come home for the spring festival. His wife is in the kitchen beating flour with water. In northeast China, people are used to using flour paste to stick spring festival couplets and New Year paintings to the windows and doors. New Year paintings come from the ancient Chinese concept of door god paintings. Tongyu New Year woodcuts arrived in northeast China with the arrival of earlier generations who bravely immigrated here. Li Xiangrong has to travel to almost every timber mill in Tongyu County to get a few pieces of wood that he wants. Making a New Year woodcut takes much more patience than most people would imagine. It requires at least three years. The selected piece of wood needs to be naturally soaked in river water for a year to prevent it from cracking. A year later, Li Xiangrong comes to collect the soaked timber and take it home, where he places it under the sun for another year. The moisture then gradually evaporates, making the timber even more firm. Over time, the traditional handicraft has tranquilly been passed on in the family. The piece of timber that has been processed for two years cannot withstand the slightest mishap. Even a single wrong stroke will mean that it will have been a waste of time. After the painting has been made, it is sculpted one knife stroke at a time. Three months later, the wood shavings fall to the floor. The door gods, Qin Shu Bao and Yu Qi Gong, have animate expressions and look majestic. The eight immortals come in various forms vividly. At this point, the New Year woodcut welcomes its own festival. Colored in handmade tints, each figure in the picture of the eight immortals crossing the sea is immediately brought to life. As the times change, the door gods and New Year paintings have fallen into decline and aren't as popular as in Li Xiangrong's childhood.
到哪儿去了？没到。Outside, Li Xiangrong works as a tricycle driver in the town. When he gets home, he instantly transformed into a dedicated handicraftsman. A feast of meat and fish doesn't signify the new year. Putting up New Year paintings does. In northern China, people offer candied fruit to the kitchen god. They give offerings to the kitchen god to pray for the whole family's blessings and good weather for the crops in the coming year. In the new year, even his tricycle bears the celebratory signs of the coming festivities. Jira, Jira, who's there? Hey, come. These ancient methods can't be called a means of survival nowadays. But despite this, these handicrafts that have been passed down for generations still continue and remain hidden in the hands of these skillful craftsmen. With New Year's blessings and memories of time in their hearts, Li Xiangrong and his wife set out to deliver New Year paintings to many other families. <laughs> 